What do we need to do? We gotta put color by in it. We sure do. We're doing an experiment today. You know, I've got this beautiful, beautiful burl wood here. And I'm thinking that maybe a way to resell it and recoup some money would be pistol grip. That's what I'd like to do. I'd like to make up and sell pistol grip blanks. But I also want, because, you know, I never leave anything alone, I also want them to be different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some dyeing. And I'm going to put blue dye in this crack. And then when I get that done, whoop, whoop, I'm going to put red dye in the other crack, or vice versa. And then we're just going to let it uh, soak in and see what happens. So you can see I've put this this saw kerf cut in here just so it would hold some dye. And that way I can come back out here at random times. Got my squeezy bottle. This is inkjet refill ink, water soluble ink. It uh, I'm hoping. Oh, I have to forget my little project worker. I'm hoping that I can get this, ooh, it's soaking in nicely, to soak in, and then red soak in, and then I'll split them down the middle, and we'll have these red and blue, I don't know. It's, a, it's an idea in progress, and I'd welcome advice from anyone who's attempted such things in the past. What you doing? I know, it's one of the few times ever you can walk around Daddy's shop, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Daddy, gotta we gotta leave it, we gotta leave it. We gotta leave it. You're making big messes. We got a couple of hours invested in this now. And I have it up here on the drill press table, which I thought was totally flat, but there, that's a little better. Just to keep it level. And uh, it's doing a fine job soaking in, although it is soaking down the sides. I don't know, like I said, what I'm hoping to find is when I split it in two that I've got color that's soaked in deep down inside. I think this is mostly surface. Having played with it before, trying to dye them from the outside, I was surprised at how much of it stayed on the surface. I said, I've never dyed anything quite like this before. It's a make it up as you go along kind of scenario. But my goal is to have pistol blanks where you'll have this bluish purple color well, I guess bluish color, and then a reddish color, and then in the middle you got this purple color, and it's all, you know, it's all buried deep in the wood. It's all in the grain pattern. And it'll make this white burl pop, because, to be honest, it's rather plain. It needs something to showcase. I don't know. Like I said, I bow to those who've done more, and would be curious to their thoughts. I want this thing to completely be colored on the inside. So short of a big kiln, sort of a big vacuum, I should say, big vacuum canister. Um, I don't know how to do it. Well, I don't know about the dying, but it might not matter. This stuff is so timber bound, it it might be good for clothespins, but I don't know if it'll be good for pistol blanks. Basically, it started like that, and then I cut in and out. Every time it pinched closed, I'd go in again. So I managed to get, by going in and out maybe seven times, I managed to get about halfway down it. But as you can see, I'm not going to get any straight pieces out of it. Our dyeing experiment might be all for naught. Heck of a clothespin, however. Can you tell the nice people on the internet bye-byes? Bye-bye. Right, Daddy? We gotta put the red dot in the other crack. Yep, red goes in the other crack. Eventually. Is that neat? Bye-bye. <laughs>